We're extremely fortunate that we didn't have some catastrophic loss of life or, or other injury. A driver apparently lost control of his pickup truck, which then became airborne and crashed into a showroom. At a car dealership this morning, the driver told police that he fell asleep at the wheel on his way to work. Now, fortunately, no one was inside that dealership, but there were some construction workers on nearby Route 30 making repairs when that crash happened. Amy Wattis has the details. It's miraculous no one got hurt. It appears the driver of that truck was headed west here on Route 30 in Westmoreland County, sideswiped this telephone pole, went over the wall, leaving all of this debris behind, then crashed into the showroom window of Sendell Motors. The owner says the driver told him he fell asleep. Glass shattered and bricks scattered all over the ground. The result of this Ford F-150 crashing into the showroom of Sendell Motors in Greensburg overnight. It's remarkable that he did S while asleep. Bill Scatterigia was in the area for car work when he spotted the damage. He says he bought a car at Sendell before. His initial reaction to the crash? Pretty high speed collision. I mean, you wonder how somebody got in here. State police who are handling this investigation describe the crash like this. He clipped one of the traffic control devices where the intersection, uh, where the road funnels down into one lane because of construction that we have here on Route 30. Uh, that sign flew into the eastbound lanes where workers were. Nearly missing them. Luckily for us, these workers were actually uh, bending down and working below the concrete barrier and the projectile that flew, flew across the concrete barrier and fortunately did not strike them. Then the truck driven by 32 year old Daniel Rhodes of Johnstown went airborne, causing damage along the way before resting right in front of the showroom. Police say he was driving to work in Mount Pleasant when the crash happened. Rhodes was taken to the hospital to get checked out, but wasn't hurt. Police say he was wearing his seatbelt he could end up getting cited. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.